At the start of September, the famous comedian and actor Kevin Hart was in a very fatal car accident. Since then, people haven't heard much from him until now. And some of the stuff that he was saying really blew me away. In fact, some of the points he was making, I was actually thinking, it sounds like it's coming from a Muslim. Uh, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Now let's jump straight into it, yeah? Now here's the first point that he said, and quite possibly the most heaviest point. Basically what you realize is that you're not in control. No matter how much you think you're in control, you're not in control. And at the end of the day, it can all be over, man. Wow. <laughs> this is so deep. In fact, it's so deep that I'm thinking probably the maturer crowd are truly going to appreciate what he actually said. Because it's only when you've gone through certain things in your life and you truly realize that, hang on a minute, flipping heck, I've got no control whatsoever. Now, before I get into it, let me break this down for you, yeah? We live in a society and we have lifestyles that gives us a false sense of control. What do I mean? We get to control when our package arrives how quickly we get our food, the timing of our Uber, when we want to watch certain movies and listen to certain musics. Musics? Music. Even when we want certain physical pleasures from illicit sites. You know what I'm saying, dirty disgusting boy. So after all of this, we're lulled into a false sense of control. We believe that majority of the things in our life we can control. In fact, we become used to and dependent upon this control. But the fact of the matter is, there's many more things that we cannot control. I mean, let's just take the basic stuff like our birth, our race, where we were born, and when and where we're gonna die. I mean, even something that we rely on, like our brain, tends to become compromised as we become older. And of course, we get to the integral things like our sickness and health, we can't control. Tomorrow we can, you know, get cancer, Allah forbid, or something can go wrong and that's it. The trajectory and the path of your life has now taken a turn. Heartbreak, divorce, separations. It's all well and good when both of you are together, but when things go wrong, you realize I can't control how the other person feels. Addictions, this could be something as trivial as sugar and fast food to smoking and even class A drugs. And of course, the ultimate death. Yeah, it could be a death of a friend, it could be a death of a loved one, of a parent. When these sorts of things happen, guys, your life has now changed. So I'll ask the question once more. Do we actually have control? And the thing is, because we're so convinced that we do, when these things happen, it is such a shock to our system that it just can't cope. And because we've been taught to deal with pain through numbing it, yeah, even our entire medical system. Yeah, when you go, yeah, I've got this problem. Yeah, just take some painkillers. Yeah, I'm really going through something. Yeah, just take some antidepressants. So we apply that same logic we'll start going to intoxicants or we'll start drowning ourselves in movies and music hoping that it will lessen the pain when in reality it's just delaying it. It piles up the pain because now you have to deal with the guilt as well. Of course it can lead to confusion, depression and even suicide. And I guess that's one of the logics behind the Shahada. What is the Shahada? You are submitting yourself to Allah. You are giving control to somebody who is well endowed to not abusing that control, I guess. And guys, remember, whenever hardships happen, as long as you have tried the best to resolve it from your side, it could be revising as hard as you can for the exam. It could be preparing for a job interview as best as you can, or trying to save your marriage as best as you can. And then if these things don't work, then realize 110%. It is from Allah and leave the control and trust in Allah. Because whenever something like this happens, our mind and shaitan conspire and they get us to think all sorts of things. But you need to think one thing. Do you trust Allah? Trust in the process. Trust in what Allah has decided for you for it is good. It is good for you. And that leads me on to the second Kevin Hart quote. You know, when God talks, 
got to listen. Yes, indeed. He has created us so he knows us more. And if he says that your purpose is to worship him and contentment only lies in his remembrance, then realize that that is the only way. Don't get me wrong, you can try the other ways, but eventually you're just going to reach a dead end. Think of it like this example, yeah? There's a maze that he, Allah, has created. He has given you the map, the Quran, and he has given you a guide, the Prophet. If you follow the map and the guide, you will be out of the maze in no time, in everlasting bliss and joy. However, if you start deciding to take shortcuts through the bush, you're going to end up lost and you're going to end up hurt. And of course, you're going to be there for a very long time. Now, of course, in our life when we're disobeying Allah, it seems plain sailing at first. We're all happy and we're like, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Yes, yeah, brilliant, mate. But eventually, the joy will run out. And that's when the issues happen. When the one who's given control takes the control and you experience a death in the family or addictions or a toxic relationship and you experience heartbreak, then these systems will fail you. You know the systems I'm talking about? Those of individualism, materialism, chasing the trivial desires of life. Boy, these things are not going to help. I swear life is funny because some of the craziest things that happen to you end up being the things that you needed most. Yes, 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 Kevin. Pain is our greatest teacher. Yeah, now boy, I cannot emphasize this enough. Good times make us lazy. Let's face it. They don't really teach us much because we're happy. Yeah, we're in bliss. It's only when pain comes, we're like, hang on a minute. Let me reassess what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. When you're going through something, hearing this line is, is not the best thing in the world. But after you've gone through the initial phase of that pain, which is the most difficult, yeah? After you've overcome that, then you start realizing and softening to the possibility that, you know what? This is actually good for me, you know? And in this case, I honestly feel like God basically told me to sit down. Yes. Everyone is going through something. You heard me, everyone watching, even delivering the video. But the thing that makes us different is how we are handling that. The successful people use pain as a driving force. They thrive in it. They grow in it. And because of that, they succeed. But on the other hand, you've got people that will just lock their door, just stick music on, just ice cream and just revel in their own misery which again piles on guilt it just delays you dealing with the problem you're gonna have to deal with the problem you know, when you're moving too fast and you're doing too much sometimes you can't see the things that you're meant to see yes yes our routines are so jam-packed guys that we fail to reflect on our experiences of the day and because of that, we're unable to learn from it. Without reflecting, the routines can really suck the life out of your life. <laughs> take time to take a stock of what you've done in the day, your direction, your long term goals, because sometimes we can become too comfortable. And before we know it, tragedy comes and boy, we've only got a couple of months left. Of course, it does help if you're around the unfortunate, the poor, because they will help you realize how rich and how fortunate you really are. When you survive your hardship, yeah, your wings have become more stronger, especially if you're able to deal with that stuff on your own. A bird that's able to ride on his own has the strongest wings. And I get it, you know, everyone's busy with their own problems. Yeah, I'm gonna be real guys. You're gonna have to deal with your own problems. But after my accident, I see things differently. I see life from a whole new perspective. My appreciation for life is, is through the roof. Everyone's got something. Oh, this, my dad was like this. My mom was like this. I went through this. I went through that. Yeah, we get that. Everyone's got problems, but you can't rely on your past. You got to rely on who you are now and what is in your control. Take control of what you are able to take control of and leave the rest to Allah. Do your best 
then Allah will do the rest. We try flip it, we make a dua, Ya Allah please give me an A grade, please I beg you I'll do anything. But the guy hasn't revised and it's exam day tomorrow. Like are you crazy? So don't take today for granted because tomorrow's not promised. More importantly, I'm thankful for God. All right, guys, hope you guys benefited from a few thoughts from the truly inspirational reflections of Kevin Hart, who, let's face it, we don't really know him for this side, but it was truly a breath of fresh air and I hope you guys benefited as well. Let's leave it there. Don't forget to bust your Sindeed apparel. Man, I love these guys here. Yeah? Look. I look good. Let's face it, yeah? I don't normally look good, but I look good today. So yeah, definitely check those guys out. And until next time, <laughs> Assalamu Alaikum.